Okay, I'm here with Mal Gates at the Hilton Hotel ahead of Sat Saturday, yeah. Saturday's fight with his fighter Lee Mould, who takes on Craig Dixon in a Northern Area title fight, Mal. How's preparation been going for that? Yeah, absolutely spot on. Trainers went well, had plenty of sparring. Uh, at least had time off work to prepare for the fight, so yeah, it was spot on. You know. And uh, you had a visit out the gym on Saturday morning, I believe? Yeah, Mr. David here. Yeah, it was really good. It was, it was classed with the public, signed photos, posed, and then got involved with it. It was really good, really good to see him, you know. That will be something for the lads as well, obviously, Lee, ahead of the, the fight, and obviously with the, your boys on the rise at the moment, having a world champion or a former world champion in your gym. It's of course, yeah, that's what the lads are swearing, you know what I mean? They're going up in levels, and obviously they want, to, they want to be at that level, so to have someone like David come in the gym, it's, you know, it's, it's awesome, really. Well, obviously, the Lee's fight on Saturday, he's fighting Craig Dixon, uh, two undefeated fighters. It's a little bit like the Billy Joe Saunders and the Eubank, but uh, our own version of that. It's not very often you get two unbeaten boxers going against each other so early. Um, is it a risk that's worth taking at the moment? What do you, what's your thoughts on the fight? Well, it's one word, it's ambition. They've, all, they've both got ambition to be the best, so they're going to fight each other, and uh, it's great to see two young, unbeaten prospects putting that all on the line, for, so to speak, to say, right, we'll have a goal, because at the end of the day, it's two of the best in the But it's a 50-50 fight, they're both really, really good lads, you know. And without giving too much away, obviously you're going to have your, your own plan up, up your sleeve and everything, but in terms of tactics and things like that. How do you see the fight actually going on Saturday? It'll be a good fight, it'll be a tactical fight. It's, uh, it's all about levels and they're both at a really good level and I think whoever wants it most will get the win, you know, whoever wants to fight most will win. It's all going to come down to heart. Well, it's a, it's one of those fights where there's some good fights and some good fighters on the show, but that, this one is the fight that I'm looking forward to most because you just don't know which way it's going to go because obviously Craig's very good at a distance boxing. Obviously Lee can do that as well, but he's very effective on the inside. It's whether it's, he's got 10 long rounds to to get there to him, you know. But as, as well as Lee, obviously the, with the rest of the gym and the rest of the guys, how's things going at the gym at the moment? Yeah, really good. Anthony's back in training. He's going to obviously fight after Christmas. Tom, I've got a lot of work to do with Tom. He knows, uh, he knows he's got a lot to learn, but he's, he's one of the kids that listens and he wants to learn. So, you know, he just needs, he just needs uh, a lot more sparring and that preparation for his fight, you know. Okay, well, uh, all the very best for Saturday, Mal. I shall see you there. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Thanks, guys. Good man. Ha, 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 ha.